Good morning and welcome everybody to the series preview of the Blue Jays and the Philadelphia Phillies here on the walk-off. It is a Patreon exclusive. Of course, all of these series previews up until the All-Star break are going to be free for everybody, so enjoy the free content. Okay, holy did we ever as Blue Jays fans needed a day off of baseball yesterday, the Toronto Blue Jays. Wrapping up that four-game series against Seattle. Now, I was in Seattle for this series. Oh, a few things to note. Number one, incredibly disappointing baseball to watch. The Blue Jays obviously got swept. This is rock bottom in the season. This is, this is the point of the season in 2022 where we're going to look back on at the end of the year and be like, oh God, that was disgusting. We won one out of 10 games. We had that brutal doubleheader against the Tampa Bay Rays where not only did we lose both games, Kevin Gosman was knocked out early, making the pitching even thinner depth-wise. And then on top of it, Mark Budzinski's 17-year-old daughter passes away. And I know that yesterday was a day off for the Blue Jays, uh, but it wasn't really. They were actually at Budzinski's daughter's funeral and then flew from there back to Toronto. Now, I do want to also touch on this really quickly. For all the Blue Jays fans out there who are looking for a truly unique baseball experience, seeing the Toronto Blue Jays, at T-Mobile Park in Seattle is magic. It is so awesome. I cannot express to you the fun that happens when you have Canadians from all over the country joining and taking over that city. I bet you it was 50-50 Mariners fans to Blue Jays fans, but Blue Jays fans were all drunk on vacation and didn't have to work the next day. So I'll be honest, we were a little bit louder there in T-Mobile Park. And it's really too bad that after making that a home game for the boys, that they weren't even to grab one W. But again, this is the low point. They are now back home in Toronto and they are facing the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, the Phillies have been a pretty decent team this year. They're 46 and 40. They're lined up in that wild card spot in the NL, one of them anyways. They are very, or have been very injury prone this year. They've dealt with a lot of injuries. Of course, Bryce Harper had surgery on his thumb just recently. He's out for six to eight weeks. That's a major hit to the Philadelphia Phillies. And as if that's not enough, without a doubt, the rule about being able to cross into Canada or to be able to cross into America while flying and needing to be vaccinated has definitely hit some teams, but the Phillies is probably the team that this has affected the most. So the Phillies will put Rayo Mudo, Bohm, Nola, and Gibson on the restricted list coming to Toronto. So they will all forfeit pay and service time for two days, and then... They'll join the Phillies once they go back to Philadelphia. I know as a Canadian, I'm kind of getting sick of this story because we hear it every time an American team comes in and then all the Americans flip out and how could this be the case? Canada's got to get with it. But just a reminder, the rule works both ways, which is why Toronto were kind of handcuffed and had to make sure that 100% of their team was vaccinated going into this season. The pitching matchup looks good going into this game one. So there's going to be a couple bullpen days, one for the Jays, one for the Phillies, and they do not line up together. So the first bullpen day will be today for the Phillies, and Jose Barrios is going to be taking the mound for the Toronto Blue Jays. Andrew Bellotti is going to be who starts for the Philadelphia Phillies, but again, he's going to be used as a starter. He'll probably only pitch one inning. Advantage Blue Jays, especially with the Phillies kind of being, not being handcuffed, handcuffing themselves, if you will, and leaving some major roster spots back in Philly. Zach Wheeler is who takes the mound 
for the Philadelphia Phillies on Wednesday. What a stud. This is a dude who finished second in Cy Young voting last year, led the NL in strikeouts, and he's looking very similar this year. He's going to get votes for the Cy Young again and is going to be a heck of a challenge for this Toronto Blue Jays team. What they're going to need to do is lay off of Wheeler's breaking stuff, but a lot easier said than done. And he is uh, a strikeout king for a reason, so that is going to be a tough one. Now, I did wish to get into this real quick because JT Realmuto, he's a little saucy about not being able to come to Canada. He will forfeit close to $260,000 to stay behind in Philly because he's not vaxxed. And he stated, I'm not going to let Canada tell me what I can and don't put in my body for a little bit of money. It's just not worth it for just a little bit of money. <laughs> uh, I like that, standing up to Canada, right? He won't listen to anybody but Gritty. Once Gritty takes his finger out of his mouth and gives him a Philly steak sandwich to shove into his body, then he's going to clear his mouth out and he will say something along the lines of, up yours, Canada. You can't tell me what to put in my body. So JT Realmoto not coming to Canada. Oh goodness, how sad. So here we are. In the midst of a real struggle for this Toronto Blue Jays team, again, they've only won one of the last nine. They are in a free fall right now. But I truly believe that this is rock bottom. Like I stated off the top, it's not going to get worse than this. They have struggled through many things, a laundry list of obstacles over the last two weeks, and I'm not making excuses. This team needs to be better. But with... The Phillies coming to town at almost half mass and then going in before the uh, before the All-Star break for a series against Kansas City. The ship could look better going into the All-Star break than it does right now. I'm not saying it's going to be righted. However, we don't know when help is coming. We do all feel confident that this this organization is looking to bolster the lineup, is looking to improve as an organization come the trade deadline. We'll see how it plays out. That is the series preview against the Philadelphia Phillies. Go Blue Jays, go!